you don't own a business, you own your job. You know you own your job if you can't take off for two weeks and not have a major financial effect. Originating from deep inside the Rocky Mountains, transported through the power of the internet, and arriving inside your tiny earbuds, it's the Appraiser Coach Podcast. Minisode. 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 Welcome back. Welcome all to the program. Dustin Harris hanging out, your humble host of the Appraiser Coach Podcast. I am the Appraiser Coach. Folks, uh, we've slowed down a little bit. I know most of you have slowed down, not all of you. It depends on what your focus is. Uh, But I think most uh, would say that uh, they're a little slower now than they were, say, four or five months ago. And uh, we don't need to go into the reasons for that. I think if you watch the news and understand what uh, is happening in the economy, you know. Uh, So we don't need to dwell on that. My question for you today is what are you doing with that extra time? I want to pause here and remind you that we are sponsored by Spark. Spark is helping you to be more efficient in your office because, well, it types for you, folks. It literally takes data that you've chosen and puts it in your report. How cool is that? Go to sparkforappraisers.com. That is sparkforappraisers.com. Now, I know some of you are laughing by my tease. They're like, uh, what extra time, Dustin? I was so busy I could hardly breathe. Now I can breathe. My straw is a little bit bigger, but I'm still drowning in work. And that's a great problem to have. And by the way, my advice today is not dependent upon how busy you are. And let me, let me start out by saying this. I don't care how busy you are, would you take time to sleep? And I know some of you are saying, well, not much, Dustin. I'm not getting a lot of sleep over the last couple of years. I've been crazy busy, but that's not what I asked. I didn't say, how much time are you taking to sleep? I said, do you take time to sleep? What a silly question. Of course you do. You can't survive without it. Now, I think it's a stretch for me to tell you that what I'm about to share with you, you can't survive without it, but I don't know if it's too much of a stretch, really. I don't think I'm being exaggeratory to say that working on your business is absolutely crucial to your business, no matter if you are busy or not. In fact, during the busy season last year, you can go back and find that I have talked about this multiple times. In fact, my advice last year when you were so busy you could hardly stand was to take time to work on your business. Take one less appraisal report that week. Whatever it takes, make the time to do it. Now, I've used an acronym over the years. And it's simply short for on it, not in it. If you write that out, the acronym is ONI, O-I-I-N-I, working on it, not in it. I did not coin that phrase. I did, I guess, coin the acronym. But that is a phrase that is used frequently in a great book by Michael Gerber called The E-Myth Revisited. Folks, if you have not read it, what, just going to say, the hell are you waiting for? My gosh, it is the quintessential book for real estate appraisers. It is. I think it's more important to real estate appraisers than the dictionary of real estate, than methodology of real estate valuation, than any of these books that you might read in order to become a better appraiser. Folks, you can't be a good appraiser if you don't have an appraisal business or work for an appraisal business. Therefore, and you've heard me say this before, you have two hats to wear during the day. It's your CEO hat and it's your appraiser hat, your technician hat. Please put on your CEO hat first. Trust me when I say, It is the thing that usually gets pushed off because it doesn't feel urgent. That report that is due by 3 p.m. this afternoon, that feels urgent. Working on your business does not feel urgent, but I'm telling you, just as sleep is essential to your health, working on your business is absolutely essential for its longevity. Speaking of another thing that is essential is efficiencies. If you want to be successful in this business, folks, it's about efficiencies. It's about doing things right, but doing things right now. Spark will help you to do things right now. Folks, it is a program developed by appraisers for you appraisers, for us, which help us to do more with less. Folks, that mundane data entry stuff should not be done by an appraiser. You're the doctor, right? That is that is something for, and I'm just going to say it, for a lower pay grade than you. Or it's something for technology. I highly recommend you utilize technology to help you in your office, and Spark is key to that. Check them out by going to their website www.sparkforappraisers.com.
Welcome back to the program, folks. You know I'm a big fan of working on your business, not in your business. Work on it, not in it. We spend our lives working on, in our business all the time, all day long, 10 hours a day, weekends, when we should be on vacation. We're working in our business, folks. And I'm not saying that's not important. It is. You have to do that for the sustainability of the business, right? You can't get an appraisal in an engagement letter and not do anything with it and expect to have your business long term. But folks, if you ever expect to grow, if you ever expect to expand, if you ever expect to become greater than you are, can I brag a little bit, just a little bit in the weeds? Um, I got a I got a message today from uh, from an individual. I'm not going to use his name, who has been a member of the mastermind since January, and his his business has completely changed. I mean, I am not exaggerating when I say it is night and day different. And he sent me a picture of he and his lovely wife, who, by the way, comes to mastermind meetings and participates, uh, on the back of a cruise ship and mentioned that they had been on this cruise for um, three days and, and, and going, right? Been disconnected from the office. Now, I'm not going to get into all the details, folks, but I'm telling you, a year ago, he could not have done this. They could not have done this. And, and he thanked me for the mastermind and, of course, I, I was honest with him and saying, hey, it wasn't the mastermind, it was you. You did, the, you did the work, right? And he said this. He says, we can't thank you enough. Without the years of podcasts, newsletters, the online courses have, uh, we have watched since joining the Dream Team, and of course, the mastermind meetings themselves, none of this would have been possible. Heck, I wouldn't have even known it was an option without the mastermind. So you're being humble uh, when, you, when, you, when you say what you say, but you were the catalyst that made this happen for us. I can't thank you enough. Can't wait for the next mastermind meeting. Folks, that kind of stuff makes my day, right? But this goes to the heart of what we're talking about today. Here is a guy who was swamped up to his eyeballs. There is no way in hell he could have taken a, a, a vacation without his business. I'm not going to say falling apart, but certainly having an effect. And you know what I'm talking about, folks. 98% of you within the, 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 the sound of my voice are in that exact same situation. If it wasn't for you, the business would not run. Therefore, you don't own a business. And I hope this doesn't sound offensive, but maybe it's enough to, to prod you a little bit. You don't own a business. You own your job. You know you own your job if you can't take off for two weeks and not have a major financial effect. Okay? I'm not saying that, that, that it, there's not going to be effect at all. Of course there is. Right? You're still an integral part of that team. But you don't truly have a business till you can take off and your business makes money without you there. Now, there's a lot of things that you've got to set up to, to, to get that right. Technologies, we talked about, things like Spark, human resources, delegation, right? getting people in the right seats on the bus. All of that stuff is absolutely crucial. But I'm telling you folks, more than anything, not the masterminds, not the podcast, not the blogs, not the all-star team, none of that. It all pales in comparison to the thing that we're talking about today. I cannot emphasize enough the power of taking time every week, if not every day, but at least every week to work on your business rather than in your business. Well, I don't have time, Dustin. Make time, folks. I am telling you, you have to put it on your calendar. You have to treat it like any other appointment that you have. There's no way you would miss an inspection at 123 Any Street at one o'clock in the afternoon if you had it on the calendar. And I'm telling you, the same is true, the principle is true with working on your business, not in your business. Folks, I love what I do. I love helping appraisers. We do have some seats in some of those masterminds that were talked about earlier in the testimonial that I read. Please join us. We'd love to help you with your business. Well, Dustin, it's slow right now. What better time to meet with a group of successful appraisers who are still killing it and find out what they're doing. We would love to have you. Reach out to me, the coach at theappraisercoach.com. You've been listening to the Appraiser Coach Podcast with Dustin Harris. If you like what you hear, please give us a five-star rating and post a short review on iTunes. For more in-depth insider information on how you can make more money as a real estate appraiser, visit theappraisercoach.com and sign up for the All-Star Team today. Thanks for joining us. And now, get out there and create some value.